So here's a very short video to illustrate the uh, IRCD trip level test using a Fluke uh, 1600 series. So we have an RCD here, it's an RCBO from Hage, it has a trip current of 30 milliamp and it's a type A and here's the symbol for it so it's an AC with a, a pulsing uh, current detection. Meter set up with the appropriate leads according to what is shown in our display. The voltage is on. We have a 30 milliamp trip and here's the symbol for the um, the A type which is with the pulsing current detection as well. So in, that is slightly different as the manual shows you but this is the right one. Here's the one with the AC delay there's the AC with the DC pulse delay, there's just the AC, and this is the AC with the pulse current. Here we have the, the setting. Um, unfortunately, this is a German meter, and it's the 1653. So this is the 1653B multifunction tester. Um, however, the 1652 is also very similar. And in, in this region here, you'll find the setting um, RCD trip level. Um, there's been a clear indication that you're on the right uh, selection here. So we've got voltage. All we need to do now is press the test. It will then add um, leakage current to the value it needs in order to trip the RCD. You may have heard the click. It tripped when this meter added 21 milliamp to the circuit. That means for this 30 milliamp RCD there's 9 milliamp leakage current in the circuit. This is quite normal. There's nothing wrong with that. That is basically the RCD trip level test. Basically it. Now you can first of all do that with everything unplugged not just switched off but unplugged from the socket outlets um, however you could also leave all the devices in to see what leakage current all those devices are giving the figure then here would be expected to be a lot lower